public video. When I was Baker acted, I was there seven and a half days the first time. And I spent five of those days doing Tai Chi Chuan exercises. On my first night, I was talking to one guy next to me, explaining to him. He was a Filipino born in the Hawaii, in the water. He had, was a water birth. He was 34 years old. I was 40. It was Christmas time, and he mentioned that he had given up drugs and he went to see his family and his mother and, and father for the first time in 13, 14 years. And they kicked him out. So he was walking when the police <laughs> uh, stopped him, started to talk to him, and Baker acted him. <laughs> he said, if I would have known, I would just wouldn't have talked to the, the police. <laughs> so... If you, uh, hi Ishmael, in case you see this video. Uh, he was a carpenter and, and we were walking around the Baker Act place looking at all the defects of the carpentry. So that was the first time. So I was doing exercises. I was just showing him the basic breathe in, breathe out. And then I hear his voice. Stop doing that. No group exercise. And I turned around. And there were like five or six other people behind us <laughs> watching us. And they were also starting to do the exercises. And the security guard yelled, uh, stop doing that. No, none of that. And I didn't even know that <laughs> there were five others there doing that. Because the only options there, it would be perfect for uh, my stepdad. All he does is watch TV. But there you don't get the remote control. So... And the furniture is not really comfortable. It's plastic so that if you piss or whatever happens there, you they just clean it up with water. I mean, it would it would not. It's not comfortable. It's uh, plastic chairs, and it's not like you have a sofa or a lazy boy you could sit back or anything. And and the floor is all uh, some sort of shiny tile. And you're barefoot with socks, and the young ones are slipping and sliding on purpose and stuff. But uh, that gets boring after a couple of hours. So uh, I decided to take the pills. The second, the first time I was in there, after two days, after five days, because I said, "Well, I don't need pills. I've never taken pills." But then I took the pills, and then I couldn't even open my eyes. I mean, it's like. I, and then uh, the nurse said, it's 5 o'clock, time for the next pills. They, they give it to you at 9 a.m., 5 p.m., and 9 p.m. at night. And I said, but this isn't me. I couldn't even speak. Uh, I, I mean, obviously they had seen me. I had been doing exercise for five days. And then on the, um, on the fifth day or the sixth day when I started taking the pills, I couldn't even get up out of bed, you know, on the sixth day. And so... I told her, no, 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 you see, I'm different. If you give me Kool-Aid, I pass out. I mean, those things you're giving for, for snacks, it was Gatorade, it was red, and it was a bottle like this. I was like, I, I can't take that stuff. If I take that, <laughs> the room spins. So I told her it was too strong. The second time I was in there, they were much nicer. Uh, this was Valentine's. The first time was Christmas this year. The, the Valentine's, they gave it to me in smaller doses. So I was able to walk around and talk <laughs> the whole time I was in there. And I decided to take it um, after a nurse told me that if I don't take it, I'm going to get it injected. So like, oh, <laughs> I see. So when I was there the second time, I didn't do any exercises because I was taking the pills and that slows you down. I mean, it... It throws your balance off. It, it, it's almost like whatever you're going to do, uh, grab a cup or something. It, it, it's almost like there are two of you. <laughs> one moving and one not moving and slowing down. So the second time I was Baker acted in February, I decided to learn to read the inch. How do you read an inch with uh, for carpenters, right? And uh, The ruler. Measure an inch. So it starts with... Uh, 
zero all the way to one inch or half inch and then break that down into quarters you got quarter inch half inch three quarter inch and then the inch right and so there are uh, apparently there are 16 lines here and so it starts with one sixteenth two sixteenths but you could break that down as a fraction to one eighth three sixteenths and then four sixteenths but that's really a quarter quarter inch five sixteenths six sixteenths seven sixteenths eight sixteenths is half half inch nine sixteenths ten sixteenths that one should be something else divided by two is five divided by two is four no eight five eighths all right ten sixteenths is five eighths eleven sixteenths twelve sixteenths is three quarter 13 sixteenths, 14 sixteenths, 15 sixteenths, 16 sixteenths. So what all of this gets to is that I was having trouble concentrating so I figured I might as well learn this while I was in there and I made like 20 of these pages or at least in, in, in a, I, I split them up into fours and then I, I like this page I folded it and that's I would do it on this side and then on this side then on this side it was basically just to pass the time there are very few books in there uh, in the lobby before they throw you in the back area with all the others uh, 20 plus people 30 plus people so what happened is in the lobby there was a book called chicken soup for the soul or chicken soups or something and so I had read it before some of those stories and I said oh could I take this to the other side and read it of course the card said no that stays here you know so like man um, he'll probably keep his job for the next 50 years you know who knows it's like basically being Baker acted and being incarcerated is the one of the most horrible feelings you could possibly have uh, the pills to calm me down my personality is calm. Uh, the last time I blew up, I was in a, a Christmas party. Let's see. I may have been, let's see, three, oh, boy, five, uh, 33 years old, 34. And what happened there was a Christmas party where nobody believed in, Chris, in uh, Jesus, you know. <laughs> I mean, opinion, because... Yes, they're drinking and so on. It's adults. You got little kids there also. Uh, the young people, at least my age, 30 or something, they're smoking outside, which I like, not inside the house. But then, where my kid is, oh, all right, he was in another room, but still, in the same house, in the living room, this big uh, old man, like a grandpa, I don't know whose father he was, he's smoking a cigarette in the living room. I don't like smokers. I don't like smokers smoking around my kids. I mean, I grew up with my grandpa smoking around me. I grew up with my, my um, yes, my mother smoking around me and my uh, grandmother. I mean, I used to lie down next to my grandmother and she, all, in whole darkness in Honduras, and all you could see was the cigarette lit uh, right at the end. It was the fire. And she used to go to sleep like that. And so I've been around smokers uh, more often than I'd like to be around them. Uh, it stinks. I used to go dancing and then my clothing, it smelled like cigarette smoke. I didn't like that. So, the best advice is don't go to any clubs. In fact, the only place that exists is the internet. <laughs> my home, where I'm living at right now, and the park when there's nobody there. Like, not on the 4th of July when there's a bunch of people. In fact, if there is a bunch of people, I go to the other park where there's <laughs> very, there are very few people. Um, so again, I spoke to you about, what did I talk to you about in this video? <laughs> oh, when, when you get Baker acted, there's nothing to do there. Uh, no books. You can color with crayons or markers and stuff like that, but it's like there is no library and the TVs are constantly on. And over here, uh, part of the reason I got Baker acted, you know, if you irritate your wife a little bit, donating two TVs or things like that, cutting the cable wire because you don't want your family to be zombies. I want, I mean, they're all, uh, the kids are, are 
our kids have excellent grades, but it's it's more than that. Their intelligence doesn't come because they just know the numbers in math or so on. It's because uh, well, keep watching my videos and you'll see the questions I ask them. Uh, are you going to cry because I don't buy you that toy? <laughs> you know, <laughs> things like that. <laughs> buy your own toy because I've noticed that if if they, people buy everything for you when you're a kid, you're going to end up like me. Uh, my mom and grandpa used to buy me everything I wanted, you know, and then later on, uh, my first spouse, she told me, uh, first wife at age 25 told me, go buy some clothes, go buy some underwear and all these other things. I had never bought those things before because my mom used to take care of everything. I would just hand her my whole paycheck, you know, and keep 50 bucks for Tai Chi class just on Saturdays. It was Saturday and Sunday, but then uh, he decided just to have Saturdays and Mondays. Sometimes I could go on and so on. Anyway, enjoy.